Hi guys, Top Pops here, and uh, today I'm going to be reviewing Dig Dug, which is a New York Comic Con exclusive from the game Dig Dug. So let's get started. Okay guys, so if you've never heard of Dig Dug before, this is a very different character and it's a very one-off one and this is from the new Pop 8-Bits line. Now I'm super excited to see how this line goes over and I really want to see what they can do with this because they've now made some Pop 8-Bits for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as well as Batman. So I'm glad that they made this Dig Dug one because it actually is fitting and this is exactly what he looks like in the actual game. I played Dig Dug a bit today and this is a really fun one. I've played Dig Dug before so I thought I'd play it again just to refresh my memory on how to play the game and if you guys have never played this game, I'll, I'll tell you how to play it now. So if you guys can see here on the back, it's actually got a bit of a and we're gonna play it in a second too. So if you guys see on the back here, it's got Dig Dug, and what it is is it's kind of like you dig through the ground with him and you have to try and stay away from the diff different bosses. So it's kind of like Pac-Man and how you have to stay away from the ghosts, but instead you're digging underground and then there's different levels of like dirt and this one's the easiest one to dig through. This one it gets a little bit slower to dig through and this one's even harder to dig through and then it gets lower and lower. There's four different levels guys and then you have to try and dig through it and then you also have to stay away from the bosses but then there's also rocks in this. So if you dig under the rock and there's a like an enemy following you, if you if the rock falls on top of him, then he dies. So you have to try and get to rid of all of them, guys, and then you move on to the next level. So I was playing a bit of Dig Dug today. It's a really fun game, guys. And for an Atari game, it's pretty cool as well. And this was one of the earlier Atari games, I want to say, but I'll take him out of the box here, guys, so you can see him a little bit better. Also, if you guys haven't seen the convention's exclusive sticker, it's right there as well. But there, guys, is Dig Dug, and this thing looks nothing like a pop. If I saw this on my shelf, guys, or sitting somewhere, you wouldn't think this was a pop character, guys. It's just like, pretty much just like a white Dig Dug. This looks just like he does in the actual game. I mean, the only thing might be a bit different is the eyes, but other than that, guys, it looks just like Dig Dug. He's even got his little shovel there, and it looks just like it does in the game, if you guys have played before. And um, this is just an awesome character, guys. I love how they made it look kind of like pointed like that. And Dig Dug was an Atari game, and I believe Dig Dug was 1983, if I'm not mistaken, for Atari. So that's really cool, guys, and I just love the way he looks. And I don't know why they made him blue, because... In the Mystery Mini, he's kind of like, he's wearing a blue helmet with the, kind of like an actual face on him. So I'm not sure if they made him like that was how he's supposed to look. But this is the most they could do for an 8-bit character. But anyways, guys, this is actually one more thing before we go to the clip. I want to say, say, say something here, guys. Mm. I want to say something here, guys, that he's pretty much not 8-bit. This is more of just a pop pixelated line. So I believe Funko should have called them pop pixels and not pop 8-bit because these aren't technically 8-bit. They don't use 8-bit scale. But um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I had to say, and let's move on to the close-ups, and then we'll play some of Dig Dug. Okay, guys, so I pulled up the actual Dig Dug here, and I've got it. I'm going to be recording me playing it guys just for a bit to see so you guys can see it and I actually found a dig dug it's retro games dot uh, CZ is what it's called and you can actually play Nintendo games on here and Dig Dug's just loading on here right now I'm pretty excited about this I was I was looking for a good website to play it on and then I found this one and you can play it perfectly it's just loading right now let's click here to play the game and then so you just pretty much use you guys can see the gamepad controls on the side there um, it's not a completely, I mean, it's not a very in-depth game. It's pretty cool, though. I do like it, and I'm glad that they made Dig Dug a pop. Now it's just waiting for it to, we'll be back, guys, when it's done loading. Okay, guys, so I got the game up now. We're going to play one player. Now, it's pretty cool, guys, because you can just use the space bar to hit the one player, two player, and then if you want to, you can move around with the arrow keys, but let's just hit enter, and let's play, guys. So here we go, one player, and enter. Okay, here we go, guys. So you guys can see there, it takes you down to the middle there, and let's go. So you guys can see those other, um, like kind of like uh, characters there are the ones that are the bad guys, and then you have to try and kill them. Oh, I just got one there. That was pretty crazy. That was right away too. So you guys can see I'm Dig Dug right now, and then you have to try and stay away. Oh, from the other characters or like the bad guys. I don't really know what you call them. But um, this is a pretty cool game, guys, and it's I like it. I'll play it more often. I mean, I, I didn't really know too, too much about this game, or even that it existed before this pop. But now that I have the pop, and I actually really do like the game, I think I have played this before. It just kind of like slipped my mind when I didn't even think about it, and then they, Funko made a pop out of it. So I'm like, okay, why not? Let's play it. I guess I'm about to get another one here. No, I missed. Oh, now I'm stuck. Okay. 
So guys, here's the thing though. You only get about, this one you only got three rocks because there's four characters. No, I'm not very good at this game, guys, if you've noticed. But this is a pretty fun game. I like it. Um, I like it out, guys. You can see him there. He's kind of a bluish color. He looks pretty much just like the pop does here. Ah, I'm afraid I'm not going to get him. Come on. Yeah, I got one. Okay. Now the problem is we're out of um, rocks here, so I'm not sure how to beat it now. I've, I've been just doing it with the rocks, and now that we've got two left, maybe they have to run out of here? Because I know when there's one left, they leave, but um, I'm not sure what you do if there's two of them. Hmm. This is tough. This is pretty fun, guys. And if you want me to do more of these where I play games and do it, like, I want to do this with more of, like, these older games because I can actually play these online. So maybe I'll get a few of the Pac-Man ones and review that, and then I can play them online as well. I'm not sure. But um, if you guys want me to do that, just put it in the comment section below. Um, guys, it looks like there's not much else you can do here, but um, you guys have seen the game and how to play, so let's just see how much far, see how farther we can go. And, um, yeah, we'll end it there, guys. Um... Yeah, honestly, I don't know what to do after this. Ah, oh, there we go. Well, anyways, guys, you know how to play Dig... You know, you've seen Dig Dug now that I've played it here. Game over. I'm not very good at it, but it was just a quick one just to show you guys how to play and what to do. There, guys, is 1-Up, 3,540 I got, and high score is 10,000. That's the one they said on here, of course. Namco, 1982 to 1985. So that is really cool, guys, and um, yeah, let's just do the outro now. Okay guys, so this has been another episode of Top Pops. If you guys want me to review more of these 8-bit characters, I can. I actually have Shredder and Batman as well. So if you guys want me to review more of these, just put it in the comment section below. Or maybe I can do a Pac-Man one coming soon and play some Pac-Man games for you. But um, anyways guys, this has been another episode of Top Pops. Me reviewing Dig Dug for you. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Oh, and if you guys want to pick this one up for yourself, go over to your local EB Games or GameStop. They have them over there. This is a New York Comic Con exclusive. They actually just released a bunch of them, and I have a bunch of other New York Comic Con ones if you guys want me to review those for yourself. And if you guys are wondering why I'm in the basement, I'm not sure if I mentioned it at the beginning, but they're still working on the roof, and they're right next to my window, so it's really loud up there. So I had to crank one out for you guys. But So I did it in the basement, guys. You, I mean, you get more to look at anyway. So anyways, this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. To the folks, Snoop Doggy Dogg and Dr. Dre is at the door. Ready to make an entrance, so back on up. Cause you know about.